What is he doing? He's beginning to believe. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 actors who regret passing on huge movies. How do you know my name? The world is too small for someone like Bruce Wayne to disappear. For this list, we're looking at stars of the silver screen who passed up roles that could have completely changed their careers or altered those films. Did we pass on any big names on this list? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Bruce Willis – Ghost Ghost, starring Demi Moore and Patrick Swayze, was the highest-grossing film of 1990. <laughs> I hope it wasn't a masterpiece. Not now. Swayze was grateful for the part. After Dirty Dancing and Roadhouse, he was often typecast as a tough guy or a jerk. Ghost allowed him to show off his sensitive side and take his career in new directions. Tell her I love her. He says he loves you. He almost didn't have the chance, though. The role was originally offered to Demi's husband, Bruce Willis. When asked in 1996 why he turned it down, Willis replied, quote, Hey, the guy's dead. How are you gonna have a romance? Famous last words. Maybe that lesson was still on his mind when he accepted the lead in The Sixth Sense a few years later. They're both so similar. Same mannerism, same expressions, same things hanging over their head. Number 9. Henry Winkler, Grease Sometimes actors audition for roles and don't get cast. But this car could be systematic, hydromatic, ultramatic. <laughs> Why could be Grease Lightning? Other times, they turn them down. John Travolta, for example, auditioned for Potsy on Happy Days, which, of course, starred Henry Winkler as Fonzie. All right, it's fixed. I just remember what I told you. I'll warm it up before you start running it. On The Rich Eisen Show in June of 2022, Henry Winkler confirmed a rumor that had been circulating for years. Ironically, Winkler had been offered the role of Danny Zuko in Grease. Afraid of getting stuck playing another greaser character, Winkler said no. I thought, I'm not going to do that because then I'm just reinforcing that kind of character. Now, I went home and had a ginger ale. John Travolta went home and bought a plane. Although he admits that his decision was a mistake, there was one small wrinkle. Grease, famously, is a musical. Winkler, by his own admission, cannot carry a tune. Here comes the boo, ready or not. Here come the boys from the south. Number 8. Josh Hartnett, Batman Begins We all tend to look back on the careers of once young stars and starlets and think about what could have been. Do you know for what reason you've been brought here? For starters, I'm unlucky. Do they regret the track their careers have taken? Do they wish they didn't miss that big payday? For Josh Hartnett, the answer is a little more complicated. The number of actors who turned down superheroes could fill a phone book. It's not who I am underneath, but what I do that defines me. Josh Hartnett is one of the more well-known, having passed on Batman Begins. Though Hartnett may have made a great Bruce Wayne, he doesn't mind. As he tells it, his regret has nothing to do with the part or the money. He wishes he could have formed a working relationship with director Chris Nolan. I said that uh, in that in that interview that I thought I should have formed that relationship, and now knowing more about Hollywood now, I would have definitely done anything to kind of stay in that stay in that relationship. Number seven, Eddie Murphy, who framed Roger Rabbit. In the days before ubiquitous CGI, there were only a handful of movies that combined live action and animation. Oh, look, kitties! Hi, Tweety. This little kitty went to market. This window pity stays home. No. One of the biggest was 1988's Who Framed Roger Rabbit. The film had the animated stars of Disney and Warner Brothers alongside live actors. Back in the mid-80s, the idea seemed insane. At least it did to Eddie Murphy, who was originally offered the lead role of private detective Eddie Valiant. The only movie I ever turned down that became, was a, that, that became a big hit was that Who Framed Roger Rabbit. You were going to be in that? The concept made no sense to Murphy whatsoever, and he turned the part down. They eventually cast Bob Hoskins, and it became the most recognizable film of his career. You want to know? I'll tell you. A toon killed my brother. A toon? No! Number 6. Dustin Hoffman, Taxi Driver In film, certain actors and directors form bonds that can last for decades. You talking to me? talking to me? One of the most famous partnerships in Hollywood is that of Martin Scorsese and Robert De Niro. 
They've worked together on several films spanning 50 years. It all began with Scorsese's Mean Streets in 1973. It may not have gone any further, though, without the tremendous success of Taxi Driver. Originally, De Niro was not supposed to play the now iconic Travis Bickle. The part was first offered to Dustin Hoffman. Hi. I'd like to volunteer. When Scorsese pitched it, Hoffman had no clue who the director was. According to Hoffman, Marty seemed like a crazy man speaking a mile a minute. It was the first of many hit roles that Hoffman regrets rejecting over his long career. Is it safe? You're talking to me? Number 5. Christina Applegate, Legally Blonde Fear of typecasting isn't limited to male actors. For 10 years, Christina Applegate co-starred in the hit comedy Married with Children on Fox. Well, now that Tony's worm food, I can get out of these funeral clothes. After the show ended, she looked to expand her horizons with other film and TV opportunities. A script came her way for a new movie called Legally Blonde. Though she appreciated the humor, she ultimately declined. I'll show you how valuable Elle Woods can be. Elle Woods, she thought, was way too similar to her character on Married with Children. She admitted in an interview with Andy Cohen that she thinks Reese Witherspoon ultimately crushed it. Reese Witherspoon did a much better job than I ever could, and she has now way more money than I do and way more success. <laughs> and so why would I why would I even regret that? Though Applegate undersells her own talents, she definitely has a point given the film's huge success. Number 4. Denzel Washington, Michael Clayton. For an actor, working with a young or inexperienced director can be a real crapshoot. Some actors love the process. Others absolutely refuse. Talk to Do Donna. I look like I'm negotiating? The end product can often be so bad that stars are left wondering what they were thinking by saying yes. All those points were in Denzel Washington's head when he first read the script for Michael Clayton. Most important thing in business is honesty. According to Denzel, it was the best material he'd read in a long time. But since it was Tony Gilroy's first stint in the director's chair, Washington passed. I'm telling them everything's fine, you're fine, everything is going to be fine, everybody's cool. The film went on to win multiple awards, including a BAFTA and an Oscar win for Tilda Swinton. Five years later, Washington confessed to GQ magazine that he made a mistake. Number 3. Michelle Pfeiffer, The Silence of the Lambs At the end of the 1980s and the start of the 90s, Michelle Pfeiffer was at the height of her career. She was offered dozens of roles she decided to avoid. You want me to do it? The biggest, by far, was Clarice Starling in The Silence of the Lambs. That part would ultimately net Jodie Foster an Oscar, though that's not the source of Pfeiffer's regret. The script was great, but as she put it, there was too much evil in the film. Oh, Clarice, your problem is you need to get more fun out of life. Lecter escaping was too dark of an ending for her. As she put it, she, quote, didn't want to put that evil out into the world. Having loved working with director Jonathan Demme before, it was a tough decision. She wishes she'd gotten a chance to reunite with him. I can't, Johnny. Sorry. Number 2. Will Smith, The Matrix All movies start with one thing, the pitch. What is real? How do you define real? If you're talking about what you can feel, what you can smell, you can taste and see. For many actors, a decision to pass or move forward is based on the pitch rather than the script. For years, there were rumors and speculation about Will Smith turning down Neo in The Matrix. You take the blue pill, the story ends, you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. In 2019, Smith put out a YouTube video confirming them. It can be difficult years later to imagine the pitch for a modern classic like The Matrix. Smith gave us his perspective. The Wachowski sisters, fresh off their only film at the time, reportedly didn't focus their pitch on the story, but on the now-famous bullet time action sequence. In 1998, their description made no sense to Smith. He chose to star in Wild Wild West instead. Gentlemen, don't make Captain West any later than he already is for his appointment. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Matt Damon, Avatar In the late 2000s, James Cameron approached Matt Damon about a new project he was about to start. When I was lying there in the VA hospital, with a big hole blown through the middle of my life, 
I started having these dreams of flying. I was free. The film would be a sci-fi feature about blue aliens fighting human colonizers. During the pitch, according to Damon, Cameron was blunt, quote, I don't need anybody. I don't need a name for this, a named actor. You know, I used to think it was benign neglect, but now I see that you're intentionally screwing me. He told Damon that if he turns it down, he would pluck someone out of obscurity for the role. But were Damon to take it, Cameron would offer him 10% of the box office. Matt Damon turned it down as he was busy at the time working on the Bourne Ultimatum. Had he accepted, Matt Damon would have raked in around $250 million. He knew exactly what it meant for you if he chose to stay. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.